Last week, the Bank of Canada increased the interest rate, which actually saw banks quickly following suit. We saw that the variable rates for mortgages raised sometimes even with just hours. But some of the benefits that were supposed to be happening, the increases on interest rates for our savings accounts, well, those didn't necessarily materialize. Now, I'm going to be speaking now with James Laird from RateHub.ca. So why haven't we seen these gains when it comes to savings accounts coming from major lending and financial institutions? Yeah, we've seen this before in that banks are very quick to pass on higher interest rates on the borrowing side, but much slower to do so for the savers out there. So I was looking at ratehub.ca and I saw that generally speaking, banks are offering savings interest rates of between 0% and up to about 2%. There are some introductory rates, but about 2% yeah. they seem to cap out at. Are, are you expecting to see any increases to reflect the raises that, or the increases that, that have happened through the Bank of Canada? You know, we're, we're hoping to see some increases. Certainly, we like to pass uh, uh, high savings rates onto Canadians as much as possible. One thing that's been interesting on ratehub.ca is that uh, some of our strongest providers have been the smaller banks in the country. Right now we have 2.3% from Equitable Bank for a high interest savings account rate and they've actually had this promotion out for the whole summer so that's a very strong rate. On the GIC side we've got a five-year uh, GIC rate through Oaken at 3.15% so if Canadians are prepared to go with a name they might not recognize as much they can certainly uh, get a higher savings rate. So do you think that these smaller institutions could have an impact on, you know, the big banks and compelling them to start following suit? Yeah, and that's what we usually see is that once the banks feel the competitive pressure uh, to raise rates, they will do so. Um, and so whether they feel that competitive pressure from the smaller institutions, maybe not. But usually when one of them moves, all of them will move. So I guess Canadians should hope that one of the big five or six banks does inch up their savings rates and then we should see the rest follow suit. And Canadians can also encourage that by just simply following their money and taking their money to where those rates are. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me.